There are so many survival colony building games out there, but Sapiens is surprising. It's way prettier than you would expect, and it's filled with tons of little details, animations, and a whole slew of compelling gameplay mechanics that make you want to go just one more day on this massive planet. Actually, when I first saw Sapiens, it reminded me of an old survival game which never got made that a ton of people were excited about. Almost 10 years ago, in my upcoming survival list videos, I was listing a game called Before. It looked amazing and even got picked up by a publisher, but eventually it just kinda stopped and we never got it, leaving us starved for this kind of beautiful, low-poly-esque prehistoric survival game. Sapiens could be what we were waiting for. Now we may be struggling for food here in Sapiens, but you don't have to in real life because you can do what I do. Cooking with Zack. This video has been sponsored by HelloFresh, a service that I've actually been using for a few months now because the missus wanted me to not eat junk food all the time and it's been helping. They also want to give you all 16 free meals, so that's nice. Everyone has their vices. I eat too much chocolate and order too much junk food. The problem is, when it comes to self-care, I get real lazy. I just don't want to put a lot of effort into relaxing. So I've been ordering cheap, unhealthy food a lot. Has HelloFresh solved my laziness with self-care? No, but instead of ordering junk food, I order the quick and easy meals that come pre-portioned with step-by-step -step instructions, so it means less time planning and less food being wasted. You pick the recipes the week before, and you can change it up if you get bored. I've tried maybe 20 different recipes looking for my favorites, and honestly they have all tasted really good. Though I do have my top picks, my choices are now mainly predicated on how lazy I'm feeling. Remember, use my link or go to hellofresh.com and use code POGZACKJUNE16 for up to 16 free meals plus 3 surprise gifts across 6 HelloFresh boxes plus free shipping. Once you click, my description will live update to count up the purchases. Now let's see if we can keep our sapiens fed in game. Citizens of the ancient world, welcome to... Sapiens. Now, the name of this game is a little confusing because there's a few games out there throughout history called Sapiens, but this is a new one, an upcoming survival colony management builder thing that will be entering early access soon, and we've been provided a key to check it out a little bit early. And I'm I'm really interested into this because uh, I, I like these little survival games. They're nice. Uh, and I had a bit of a jump in earlier. And it looks, like, from the screenshots, it looks okay, but it actually looks prettier than the screenshots. It's surprisingly good looking. Anyway, let's create a world. Options look okay, yeah. Um, world name, we of course live on Dwellmend. Seed, um, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's, it generates a new planet based on a seed, so I guess there might be some interesting things, but it doesn't really matter, right? Let's see. Rainfall, temperature, continent size, mountain height, hill size, hill height. Um, I like making the world a little bit more chaotic, so let's push hill height way up, because that can be kind of cool. Um, temperature. So if I push temperature way up, I assume it's a drier world. Or just a hotter world. If I push temperature way down. Oh, this is snow, I see. Right, so so it does have a pretty significant effect. Let's keep things sort of... Let's drop temperature a little bit. Okay, this, this kind of looks cool. I feel like we need more trees. So if I push rainfall way up, what do we get? I see this is sort of like the around the equator is where all of these trees mainly live. So let's let's increase rainfall a little bit, drop temperature a little bit, and we've got a nice interesting looking world. Hill height really high. You can see snow creeping down a little bit 
further because we dropped the temperature. Mountain height. Let's push mountains up as well. Oh, I see. A lot of these snow are mountains. Let's, let's maybe not put the mountains too high. I want a slightly more chaotic world, but not too chaotic. Yeah, this, this looks like it could be cool. Let's get another seat. Maybe a more not so Pangea looking. Okay. A little bit more islandy, broken up chains and stuff. Okay, let's go with this. Mods are gonna be a thing, by the way, but not today, obviously. Let's create the world. Loading world. For millennia, sapiens have been exploring Dwellmend. Small tribes are scattered wide across the world, traveling, gathering, hunting, and surviving. These primitive sapiens are happy, but they are limited by their lack of knowledge and ambition. Alone, they may survive, but can never reach their full potential. You are to become the guardian of a tribe of sapiens. You will give them direction and purpose. Your goal is to encourage them to learn, advance, and grow, and ultimately to create a thriving sapien civilization. Those you choose to lead will be the ancestors of the entire human species. Choose your tribe wisely. So we've got a small collection of starting locations. Did I did I make it? Oh, we're starting in a snowy area, I think. Wait, no. Oh, the tribes are all loading in. Oh, okay, it depends where we look. Okay, so we, we don't have to start there. We can, for example, start... Uh, we could alternatively start next to the water, which might be a bit cooler. Six sapiens right here. I made the world pretty hilly as well, so that's going to be cool. Yeah, okay, this looks kind of cool. Let's do this. Six sapiens. We've got Sunaja, Pasisa, Luca, Kite, Sili, and Waso. Lead this tribe. Here we go. Ah, uh, And look, we are unfortunately underground. <laughs> Uh, gathering hate. Um, okay, there we go. There we go. It's loaded in. It's loaded in. It's an early access game. Don't worry. <laughs> we're, we're above ground now. Now, spacebar does pause. And I wanted to show you how nice this game actually looked. Like, a lot of the screenshots when it's, like, zoomed in on things, obviously, some things are sort of um, lower poly uh, and stuff like that. But actually, the game looks really nice, right? It looks really nice. We can zoom around, we can see the water. The sky looks great, the sun looks great. Right, it just, it just sort of looks nice. Now, where were we? Uh, we're there, okay. So I pushed up hill height, so we, that's why we've got this massive hill here. If I look over here, I don't know if we have um, any mountains nearby because I pushed those up. But yeah, isn't this a nice looking game? It's just nice and pleasant. Anyway, there is a tutorial telling us how to do things. And one nice effect before we start is that if I unpause, see the grass has that little wavy effect going on. Right, it's got that sort of Ghibli sort of thing, right? It's cool, right? And also, when it comes to zooming in, if you hold down control, you you can zoom right in, right? People always ask, what's the max zoom? You can get down into the grass if you so desire, right? You can, you can really just look at people at their eye level, right? There's, there's no restriction. I think you can't go into the ground, but you can get to ground level, right? And you can zoom out to about here. Right now, anyway. I don't know if it'll allow us to zoom out more later. Okay, unpause the game. Uh, we have to clear some grass to make some hay. So let's um, do a clear on that one tile. 
And we need to clear five grass tiles. So what we can do is do this, uh, select more. And then you can select how much you want. We select that and clear all that grass. And off they go to clear grass stuff. Our civilization has begun. Ah. <laughs> Hide in the grass, can play as bugs. <laughs> so, is this, is this bamboo? It is bamboo. It says right there, it's bamboo. Just as an indicator of where things are. Uh, toggle fast forward. Yeah, so the speed controls, right? Tutorial is going on behind me there. Uh, and the tutorial's pretty good. It sort of just explains what we should be doing. Storage areas. So we need to build six storage areas. If we press escape, we get this stuff. There's decorations, there's plants we can plant, there's pathways, and buildings right now, we need to do breakthroughs. Uh, I think building in this game is not just house. I think you can actually build walls, stairs, platforms, right? It, it can get pretty complicated. Uh, for now, let's build storage areas. We need six storage areas. Let's just do this one. And you can hold shift to be f like free placement or they snap. Two, three, four, five, six. So there's six storage areas. Now we need to st uh, store eight dry hay. Um, if I look at this, manage storage. So there's 14 wet hay. That should turn into eight dry hay, I assume. But we also need to store eight branches so we can... Bamboo doesn't count as branches. We need eight branches. So I guess that tree over there. Gather pine branches. So we get two per tree. Uh, it's not a very heavily forested area. Can we get branches from these things? What are these? And that's more bamboo. These things, what are these? Palm trees? And that's rich soil. Uh, what's this? Banana tree? <gasps> we can gather bananas! Bananas could be tasty. Um, can, can they walk up to that tree? Maybe they can get this tree here. Gather branches. There's actually not a lot of trees where we're living right now. <laughs> uh, I guess th they, can, they can do a walk. It's fine. Gather those branches. Can you get branches out of this? Gather those branches and gather these branches. Oh, this, this is just such a nice place to live on. This hill slope down to the water, right? Which way... There's a sun, so this, that should be east, I'm guessing. So that's the, the sun rises over the water. This is such a great spot. Okay, people can walk up this hill. Sleeping in beds. So we need to build four beds at least. We've got some branches. We've got, uh, I suppose this is dry hay now? Yeah, 14 hay. It's not wet anymore. So let's pick a spot to sleep. I guess right here is fine, right? Let's go to build hay bed. So we need to build four of these. Uh, right click does allow us to rotate. So let's just do like one. I guess we can fan them out a bit for design. Just four, right? Yeah, just four. There's our first four beds. Investigating to advance. In order to advance, sapiens need to investigate the world around them. Leads to technological breakthroughs. So we need to uh, investigate a branch, investigate some hay, and we need to investigate a rock. Rock, rock. Is that a, is that a rock? That's flint. Flint doesn't count as a rock. Is that a rock? Small limestone rock. Limestone rock counts as a rock, right? I guess. We need to investigate the rock. 
Tell us your secrets. <laughs> uh, little Baron, you're assuming the entire game has one kind of biome steps. Uh, no, the, the, the world is actually... Um, it's a whole planet. So that uh, I sort of picked somewhere around the middle. Um, so that's this is what we ended up with at this point. Um, but I also made it a bit cooler and I made it a bit wetter, I think. I think, anyway. Uh, if I do this tribe, so I can... Okay, doing this allows me to zoom straight to people. So, let me zoom out and head... Okay, if that's east... If I head north... Like, we can probably see... Oh no, it doesn't let us go! <laughs> we, we can't fly far away from where our people are. Okay. But this is a pretty big world, right? I think it is actually a whole planet. Dynamic lighting seems like the wrong choice here. <laughs> it is a lot of green. Maybe, maybe I'm making myself a bit too green. So <laughs> it's a lot of grass. Let, let me let me fix that for you. And just have this. Uh, fixed like that. There we go. <laughs> Was that a mammoth? Was there a mammoth? New breakthrough. Fire lighting. We can do campfires and torches. What are these things? Alpacas? We could eat you. Probably. Was there a mammoth? There's probably various creatures around here. Lighting a fire. Fire is a very important discovery which provides light at night. We don't have any food. We don't have any food. Um, I feel like we could... possibly need to eat something. But I guess we'll follow the tutorial. And place a campfire. Uh, so... The beds seem to be working out. The investigation, I think they've been looking at things. Yeah, this this is investigating a rock, I think. The beginning of scientific research. Perspective. Investigating rock. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, build here campfire we can also do torches okay plain rocks limestone rocks requires six large rocks but oh, there's two other rocks we haven't discovered yet uh, we can have the campfire here and look at this we actually set a stick on fire rock napping <laughs> By using one rock to hit another, your tribe has discovered that the edges can be sharpened and some very useful tools can be made. Quern stone, stone hand axe, stone spearhead, stone pickaxe head, small rock, stone knife. Nice. So, someone's probably still... Are you... What are you doing? Are you investigating hay? This, this child is like looking at hay, I think. Investigating. Child. Focused. Very focused child. Focused on that hay. Thinking about them hays. <laughs> we'll learn everything. Well, someone had to be the first to be like, we're gonna learn everything about this rock. Someone had to do it first, right? All scientific development depends on that first discovery. Rock. Hit. Thing. Right? Um, so we probably need more rocks. Do they just... I think they just gather resources as needed. Like, we don't have to... This is fetching plain rock. Yeah, so they do just grab the resources required. 
Okay, good. I feel like we need more beds since we have so many people. Everyone's just kind of chilling right now. And the beds are full. How many rocks do we need? Assign different sapien. Okay. We found the monolith then built nukes. <laughs> Went straight there. New breakthrough, thatch building. Oh, that's what the kid was doing. The tribe has discovered that when dried vegetation is lined up and placed over a supporting structure, it can provide watertight shelter. That's kind of cool. Like, the investigations are not just, they don't just look at the thing. They actually do something with it. Like when we discovered fire, they were like investigating the stick and it actually lit a small fire. The kid was investigating hay and had like a stick and like putting hay on the stick and then like put two sticks and then put the hay there. And it's like, oh, we can build a roof, <laughs> right? It's it's not just, huh, 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 huh. Investigation complete. <laughs> They're actually doing an activity. How to assign roles. When a sapien discovers a new technology, they become skilled in it and will automatically be assigned a role allowing them to complete tasks relating to that skill. You should assign roles to sapiens manually too. This will help uh, keep everyone busy and allow you to focus your tribe on the areas where needed most. Okay, so there's the tribe menu. Uh-huh. We can select roles. So this is the stuff they're allowed to do. Assign a sapien to any role. Manage roles. Okay, so this person has like a lot of roles. What are you? Loyalty, happy, 23 adult, Waso. Early riser. So Waso wakes up early. We're just in charge of everything, huh? So if I go to tribe, pick someone who, like Pasisa, who is logical, slow learner, and then go to manage roles, we can give you rock napping. <laughs> sure, you can do that as you go fetch more rocks. Building a campfire. Building a campfire. We can speed things up. If things are going too slow. Just tap tab. Crafting area and tools. With an understanding of rock and napping, sapiens will now have the ability to create tools. Hand axes and knives are very useful to start with, so your tribe should craft some now. The best way to manage your tribe's crafting activities is to first build a designated crafting area, which we can do. We go to build. I saw crafting area build and I guess we just uh it needs a I can notch on to the storage area yeah, that, that makes sense I feel like we should also put down extra beds let's put down more beds uh we can have another one like there Another one like there. You'll all just sort of sleep around the fire like this. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll have eight beds. I feel like we should also grab more hay. So let's grab that. So our selection size is one tile. If you want to select more, you just sort of do that. Uh, let's, you know, let's clear that as well. And yeah, you know, let's clear some more hay out. Okay, good. Fireplace seems to be coming on down. Oh, we have to build four crafting areas. I just saw the instructions. Uh, crafting area built. We need to build four. One, two, Three, four. There. Fire is down though. We have discovered fire. Ah. 
building with thatch. With the new understanding of thatch building, uh, now would be a great time for the tribe to start working on some basic structures. Sapiens will be happier if their beds are under cover and resources stored under a roof will also last longer. Okay, so let's try build our first building. Um, thatch wall with door. Okay, so how do we want this? Do we have thatch walls with windows? We do. Thatch roof cover, thatch roof, thatch hut roof. Roof wall. Okay. So we need to build a door. So let's build our first structure. I guess we can have it here. Right, so we can build up as well. Uh, so one door should be fine. Then let's build a wall. Does this snap? It does snap. So we can build a wall there. We could have like a long structure to fit all of our beds, right? And we can do this. Okay, uh, like this, like this, and then on the end we can do one with a window. We'll build a longhouse. We can just do that. Oh, we can have, I see, we can have like a door sort of like that as well. So we could have multiple rooms in the house. That looks cool, so we're gonna do that. And then, how does this roof corners? Okay, I feel like the thatch hut roof. Yeah, I think we need to do this. So we do one, two, three. And then I think we need thatch roof wall which goes in like that and we don't need one there and then one here and that will be our first structure and we need like massive amounts of hay so let's pick this patch of grass right here select all of that Grab all that hay. Everyone, go grab hay. Uh, need six hay. Hay. I think it's all hay. We have ten pine branches. First structure coming down. <laughs> Build a prison. <laughs> uh, we don't. We don't have crimes yet. I think. Oh, is the sun setting? I think the sun is setting. There goes the sun. So first day is passing. Oh, it's raining as well. So I'd want to move all of these. I don't know if we get the resources back if we remove a bed, but we want to move all the beds into the structure. Does our hay dry if it's raining? <laughs> uh. So under crafting, we can craft all sorts of things. We can craft small rocks from large rocks. That makes sense. Hand axes, knives. Okay. So it's saying we need to craft four stone hand axes. Four. Let's craft four stone hand axes, and then we have to craft four stone knives. Stone knife. Four stone knives. Small rock napping tool. Recruitment. 
Sometimes nomadic tribes will wander through the area or come looking for food. This is a good opportunity to grow the tribe as many will decide to join if we invite them. Invite the visitor to join. Is this? Oh. Hello? Recruit? Alasa wants to join? Okay. You? Kajosa? Recruit? Yeah. Let's, let's take everyone. Let's recruit you as well. Okay. Oh. Now it's nighttime. Let's get nighttime lighting. Oh. <laughs> they come at night, must be zombies? No, no. Forgot food? Well, the game hasn't told us to go get food. Uh, do we have all the resources we need? What does... Is anything still missing? Can't build not enough light. Add torches or wait until daytime. Oh, it's too dark for them to build. Because they can't see. <laughs> oh, that makes so much sense. You can't build in pitch blackness. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, there's, there's a lot of little details in this game that just like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, of course. But the stars are out. Look at that. Nice. You know, it, it at first it feels like a very complicated game, but it's actually quite easy to to just sort of do things. Oh, I think they're actually like grabbing wood to keep the fire going. Extinguish. So it's too dark to build this. So if I wanted to, I can build a torch. Now I don't know if there's fire in this game. But we can stick like a torch there. And like a torch Two torches. Yeah, if you right click, you hide all the UI and stuff. So we'll have two torches on the end here. Great. Uh, what do they need? I think a stick. Okay. Just building one long house. That's um that's very Malaysian by the way. <laughs> we got long houses. Yeah, everyone just lives in the same long house. Back in the day anyway. <laughs> Probably too dark to build those two. That's a good point. Can you No no, you can build torches in the dark. So, because they're simple, you just like, it's a stick with some fire. Uh, you can't build structures in the dark. You can build torches in the dark. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> now we've been crafting some tools as well. So looking at the environment at night. Pretty bright, which makes sense. Is there a moon? Hunger and food. There we go. Your sapiens are starting to get hungry. Sapiens don't gather fruits by themselves. You need to issue orders to gather, hunt, and store food. Don't gather everything at once, though. Most fruits will last on the tree until next season, but quickly rot if picked and left outside. Okay, so gather and store 10 food resources grows on some types of trees and bushes. So I remember the bananas are here. Not enough light. Add torches or wait until the daytime. Right. Can we see what... I don't know how long it is until... Uh, it's daytime. But... Uh, we want to be gathering fruit. Bananas it is. They don't exactly keep, but 
Gather bananas. Gather bananas. Gather bananas. We'll be eating bananas. Oh, it's hot right now, it says. Top left. Usually mouse camera makes me dizzy and vomit, but I'm really relaxed with it, so I'm comfortably watching. <laughs> yeah, I mean, same with me. I, d I don't like to like, ah. <laughs> It's just like that. I built my hut in a basin. I don't think it's a basin. Like, it's the bottom of this hill. Which I don't I don't think I don't expect landslides to be a thing in this game. But the hill continues down, so flooding won't happen. We're actually quite high up from the water bank. Right? Water would just continue to flow straight down. So yeah, the hill doesn't go back up on the other side. <laughs> Looks like a lot of resources have been put in. Uh, no capable sapiens are assigned to the thatch building role. Oh, we need to assign someone to the thatch building. So let's go to tribe. Thatch building. Slept outside. Well rested, but slept outside. Children can't do these tasks. Okay, so we want to give you like thatch building. And you like thatch building, because you don't really have roles. There's also roots, I guess, or maybe trade. Okay, so I'm, I'm not... Uh, so the kid who discovered thatch building can't actually do the thatch building themselves. <laughs> dark, tired, hungry. Oh, they don't like it dark either. Okay, that makes sense. Everyone's sleeping. Is this everyone? Is this sunrise? What's going on? Oh, was it like The Sims? Everyone was asleep, so it just went into like fast mode. Ah, okay. Not enough light, add torches. Oh, the fire is out. Can't light, need six branches, logs fuel. Okay, so... Yeah, we need more branches. Not enough light to... <laughs> okay, we, we need it to be daytime. It's hard to do things at night in prehistoric era, okay? Oh, did someone just pass out over there? I just sleep over there. Okay, I think enough light is slowly coming through. They're all going to grab bananas now. Swarm the bananas! Eat the bananas! There's all these alpacas as well. It's a rainy day. Can we hunt? I'm sure we can, but... We can't investigate the alpacas. Missing knowledge. <laughs> There's quite a lot of them. A oh, nice little fog effects as well. On rainy days. Right? Like, this This game does just look kind of nice. You don't expect it to look this good from the screenshots, actually. Okay. Well, the sun's risen, so we can actually do things now. We can probably build all of this. Any issues? Need five branches, six hay. Okay, we need like a ton of branches actually. There are quite a lot of trees, they just have to go get it. Oh, look at our pile of bananas! We got bananas. Sun's rising. Investigate the bananas. Can we investigate the bananas? No, we don't have enough 
knowledge of something else first. We gotta investigate something else first. <laughs> Before we can investigate bananas. We can investigate the bamboo. Maybe we have to investigate the banana tree. I say banana tree. It's a plant, I know. Investigate elsewhere being in... Oh, does investigating a tree in general count as investigating a tree? Yeah, being investigated elsewhere. So, okay. We just need to investigate this tree. Figure it out. Figure it out, Kite. Original science. You just hit it. <laughs> figure it out. Come on. Learn something. Are these poppy seeds? Uh, poppies? I think they are. Future discovery. <laughs> Idol. Okay, so... I see some structures coming on through. Uh, I'm gonna set people to go grab these pine branches, because I think we do need quite a lot of branches. So while the day's up, let's gather all these pine branches. Yep, yep. From this section, that should send a bunch of people over to go grab that. Off they go, yes. House is, is coming along. I think we do have enough hay. What does this require to be lit? It needs two hay to light. Okay, so we're actually out of hay. Um, so let's grab another patch. I don't know if grass regrows. I assume it does, but... Oh, we can investigate grass as well? Alright, investigate grass. Look at the grass. <laughs> Uh, let's select. Yeah, just grab all of that grass. We're gonna need lots of hay. Someone just sit here and look at a grass. Like it's PE and you're out in the field, but you don't want to play sports and you're just sitting by the sidelines. You just pluck up a blade of grass and then fold it in half and then tear it. Because that's what kids do, right? <laughs> Remember doing that? Just pull a leaf off a tree for no reason. Why why we do that? Yes, figure out that grass. Hit it with a rock. <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> science. This is an example of the scientific method. Let's be uh, uh in the West it's physical education. In Malaysia we call it PJ. Pendidikan Jasmani. Tree felling with enough strikes and with a hand axe, even the mightiest trees can be taken down. This will provide wooden logs which will burn in fires for much longer. But perhaps there are other uses too. Did you actually... Oh, you chopped down the tree. It's bamboo. Bamboo doesn't really burn in fires. What are these things? What's this? Seeds. Yeah, bamboo grows some seeds, right? It's a grass. Yeah, bamboo would work well in buildings. I don't know... Oh, is the structure actually made out of the things we have? Do you, do you see this? This is bamboo. This is stick. It's a mixture of bamboo and stick. This game has details. The structure is actually being made out of what we're using. If that maintains in the final structure, that's actually amazing. We're taking all of this grass up. No matching or empty storage nearby. Did we fill our storage? Oh, I see. They're filled with different things. Look at that. Bamboo and sticks are going for the construction. 
Yes. Okay. Let's go to build. Let's go to storage area. We're going to expand this. One, two, three, four, five, six. I assume there it's possible to manage. Yeah, to accept different things or whatever, but it's fine. All right, bring all this in. Breakthrough is nearly complete. We're going to figure out... I assume... New breakthrough. Digging. With the new knowledge of a rock napping, hand axes could be used to more easily remove the top soil, transport it elsewhere, and reveal what's underneath. We can do clay path, rock path, sand path, soil path. We can make paths. Can I make this house too big? I think there's a stick on the roof there as well. Are we? What are we short on? We need six hay. Okay, all the all the hay will be coming in. I assume they managed to. But they're still out here gathering some some sticks. Okay, that's fine. I wonder if there's anything else we can investigate. This this is a boulder? Limestone boulder. It's too complex. Fill soil. Oh, we can terraform. We can terraform the land. We can dig and fill. Set fill type. We can fill it with... Whatever we want. Okay. Place large rocks. Store. Use. So those are some plain rocks. Okay, so... We can chop down... the bananas. This torch is lit. Because it's very cool. Um, is there anything in storage that we can investigate? Small rocks, seeds. We can investigate the seeds. Okay. So I think we had to investigate trees before we could investigate produce of trees. So now, figure out seeds. <laughs> the investigation for figuring out seeds is to put them in the ground. I guess that makes sense, right? That that that's correct. <laughs> the fact that there is like a different investigation for every thing. That's really cool actually. Yeah, the building menu had accept only building materials with a checklist. Yeah, so like building so like if we were building this, we can pick what resources to use. So see how many things we could have for branches. There's bamboo, pine branches, and then some other sticks and stuff. So we can choose. So right now we're just making a mix of bamboo and pine branches for our unique architecture. <laughs> but that's cool, right? Investigate water? It's quite far. Can we investigate water? Oh, it's like a mile away. Which is a long way. Need digging tools. So you you can fill up water as well. So if you have like a small little pond... Wait, what's that stuff? River sand. Oh, it's just like little vegetation underneath. These boulders. No, missing knowledge. We can't investigate the boulders yet. How about these little bushes? What are, what are you? Gooseberry bushes. Ah. Kui has learned the thatch building skill. What's all this? Beetroots. Oh, there's a lot more food around here than I thought. I just have to look a little bit closer. That's clay. 
We can investigate clay. All right, someone's gonna come all the way down this hill. Wait, no, there's closer clay. Let's not investigate this clay. Stop, stop, stop. Um, stop investigating. Okay. Let's find some clay that's closer to home. There must be some... Yeah, there's some right there. Where are we from? I went way far. I didn't realize. Okay, there must be some clay around here. What's that? Oh, it's one of them. Okay. <laughs> Just had its head down. Clay. Is that clay? Yes. Investigate clay. We can begin our pottery expedition. Oh, this is this is the investigating of the seeds. They grabbed some dirt and then just, just buried it. Are those people from another tribe? Oh, they are. Yeah. Come on, join the tribe. Agriculture! Now that the tribe's immediate needs are taken care of, we need to start planning ahead. As the tribe grows, they will need to grow enough produce to feed everyone. Discover digging, discover planting. I'm assuming we're discovering planting there. Okay, new breakthrough, planting! By observing seeds and plants, your tribe has discovered how to control where things grow. This will make it easier to control food supply and provide new decorative options. Plant 10 fruiting trees or plants. How do we do that? Like bananas? Would it be under plant? Banana. Banana. Ding tool. Okay, plant. So we can then have like our source of food right here. Alright, so let's build one, two, Two, three, four. We're going for ten, but let's let's make it look nice as well. One. I love how the tree randomizes a little bit, so they're not all going to look exactly the same. Because I hate that. I think I just go one more. So it's like five, five. And we're not, we're prehistoric people. We're not landscapers. So things aren't going to line up. We'll have 10 banana trees like that. Yes. So grab all these spare bananas and stick them in the ground. These are old school. Technically, they're not bananas. Bananas are a mutation that we decided to cultivate and like on purpose. Um, these would be plantains. <laughs> they discovered how to clone bananas. No, no. Th these would be the ones with seeds in them. <laughs> that looks pretty lined up. I mean, not quite, but... Maybe my freehand skills are getting better. <laughs> okay, so the house is coming coming on through. Oh, look at this. This is kind of nice. We're actually in the house. And we got the window. We can... New breakthrough pottery! Your tribe has discovered that some types of earth can be pressed into forms when soft and wet, and they will keep their shape when they dry out and harden. This will be useful for storing certain resources. Mud bricks and urns. So we can look out the window here. There's the two torches. Oh, it's nice. View the world map from above. Oh, we can? That's how huge this world is. <laughs> so we're, we're there right now, right? We're by a lake, right? You can't even tell which lake it is. Right? This is the world map. Can we? We can. Oh, it doesn't load in the rest since this, this is our world. Right? 
Like we're looking across the lake at another land when we're down there. And that lake is this. That's what we're looking across right there. Yeah, that's what we're looking across. M. Oh, it does the zoom in thing. Okay. Takes a while to load in. Fair. Fair. That is. It's coming on. Just give it a just give it a second. It's taking a while. <laughs> zooming way out and zooming way in seems to put a pretty hefty toll on the system, but it works. It's not crashing or anything, so that's good. The icons really help, you know, because they change color. They're yellow or red or green. So you can see what's working, what's not working. So you can see the, the wood sticking out the top. Some are bamboo, some are pine branches. But you can't actually, you can't fly through walls. So if you actually want to enter a house later on, you actually have to go through the door. Oh, it feels so cozy in here. Oh, we, we have a pot. Can we... I don't know what to do with a pot. We still have some spare hay. Oh, we might need to put more people on planting. Let's look at roles, a tribe roles. So you manage role, tree felling, digging. Let's give you planting. They can have five total roles, I see. And that number is how many people are in charge. So we'll do that. Uh, we can give you planting as well. Sure. I'm I'm not making this efficient or anything. Learn the skill, well rested, well rested, okay. Most people are well rested, that's good. Loyalty, so I assume if loyalty just drops down, they just leave. No one, the oldest person here is 46 years old. That makes sense. You just sitting. Okay, so the icon does tell you what they're doing. Need more beds. Well, I'm gonna plant a uh, plant. I'm gonna build beds inside the house. Like in here. Once it's done. This is sort of like an entryway. It's kind of dark. Okay. Bananas being planted. Good, so our source of food will come from here. I don't know, do we have enough bananas to plant them all? We need stone hand axe. Are we running out of hand axes? We could craft more. Stone hand axe. Let's just craft like another four. Oh no, they, they have it. We'll just have some surplus. It's okay. Can we investigate alpacas yet? No. Still missing knowledge. We gotta find things to investigate. Why is everyone up there? Oh, they're grabbing resources from... Why are these... What are you guys doing all the way up here? What are you guys out here gathering? They climbed the mountain. Banana leaves. Discover Nasi Kanda. <laughs> Banana leaf rice. That's what we're trying to discover here. I think we got to discover rice first. 
a really rainy day today, huh? Okay, almost all- the house is almost done, right? It's just a big endeavor. Building everything. One more wall? I think one more wall and we're done. We actually have a house. Is this game early access? Not even. This is a preview build. So it's going into early access soon. But honestly, it's got a lot going for it already. There's so much detail. Like, the screenshots quite often are like close-ups. Like, if I pause the game. Screenshots are often like close-up of things. Uh, let's get this. Okay, someone is lighting it. It's quite, quite often close up of things. And. Hold on, we, we need some light here. It is nighttime. Which means. Nighttime mode. Someone's lighting the fire, it's okay. Uh, yeah, so like screenshots are like this. And it's like. Okay, looks fine. But this is when it's like really zoomed in. There's so much detail. Like, I actually can't believe it's not, like, lagging out <laughs> way harder. Like, screenshots of scenes are like this, and you see the grass and they're like triangles, and it's like, ah, oh, that doesn't look so great. But most of the time you're playing the game like this, and it's so much detail. There's like little animations and activities for everything. Building of structures actually uses the resources you have. So you can see, since we were mixing, um, like, bamboo and branches you can actually see that they display on the construction once it's covered with thatch it's not as obvious since it's covered in thatch but it actually does use people are sitting in here in this house i guess we can now place the beds uh we probably need more hay right so let's um designate an area to Select. Yeah, big section there. Harvest hay. Yeah, it's too dark to get all of that, but we'll start on that. And then... I want to build beds in here. So, let's go to build. Hay bed. Oh, is the land not flat enough? Uh, it might be able to work. And we can do it sort of like this. Oh, they talk to each other? They're like Sims. Let's do that. They can be just sort of lined up like this, right? This is not straight. What am I doing? <laughs> oh well. Those resources are in the way. We can just have like... We're just doing something functional here. Yeah, the land's not flat, so we're, it's a little tricky. Okay. That should be enough beds. Playing music. Music makes sapiens happier and more loyal. And musical sapiens can even grow sad if they haven't heard or played music for a long time. Discover a bone carving. Play a flute. How do we discover a bone carving? Yeah, so screenshots are often sort of like this. And it's like, okay, looks fine, I guess. How do I discover bone carving? I gotta find a bone, right? How do I find a bone? I gotta find a, a dead thing? Hmm. 
The structure is complete, though. With our two torches on the end. Lined by bananas on the sides. They're gonna make some beds on the inside so people can actually sleep with shelter. Can I fly through this window? Yes, I can. Got this little door separator here, but open on the top. <laughs> need to hunt first, stone spear. Maybe we can do that. We need to go to the crafting place. Uh, knife, pickaxe, urn. Stone spearhead. Let's get like four stone spearheads. Yeah, this is like The Sims. When everyone goes to sleep, time just speeds up. <laughs> this, this, this is like The Sims. They all wake up. They start going, "Susu, Papa, she she fasiduwa." The sense of scale is also pretty amazing, right? The, the fact that we're just this tiny little campfire with one building and our region is like this big and the whole world map is absolutely massive. What's this red icon here? What's wrong with you? Fetching banana to eat. Hungry, slept on the ground, slept outside, dark. Wow, Waso is not doing well. Maybe come home. Like, they all went on this massive expedition. Are you able to zoom out and see what other tribes are doing? I don't think so. It doesn't let you fly too far away from where you currently are. Chickens! I thought I saw something. Investigate the chicken! Okay. Maybe once we investigate chickens, we can investigate alpacas. Ah. Sun's rising and it's not a rainy day. The sky is actually surprisingly well made. And the clouds are moving. Hit the chicken with the rock. Let's see what the investigate for chicken is. You, you're going? You're going to investigate the chicken? It's a way to, yeah, follow. Let's find out what Waso. Waso, who is like in a really bad mood. He is holding a rock. Let's find out what he's gonna do. He's just gonna throw a rock at it. You missed. This is how we find out what chickens are. Just throw a rock at it. Okay, good job. Try again, try again. I do know throwing rocks is a very important part of our evolution, by the way. New breakthrough! Basic hunting! Throw rock at things. Your tribe has found a way to hunt and kill small prey, which can provide valuable resources and potentially food once they figure out how to prepare it. Zoom to recent notification, I see. Did we kill the chicken? Well, investigate the, the chicken body. Cooking meat. After a successful hunt, your sapiens need to prepare the carcass to make it ready to eat. To do this, they'll need to butcher and then cook the meat. Well, investigate the carcass first. Meanwhile, we should probably go grab some other type of food. Um, don't suppose these bananas are harvestable? Ah, we can. Yes, gather bananas, gather bananas. You can see bananas on them, so they're gatherable. I assume if you cannot see bananas... There are no bananas to harvest. Harvestable foods are visually represented. That's great. 
Now, where's the other? Can we investigate alpacas now? No. There must be more food around here somewhere. I assume we can just... We can hunt. Hunt a chicken. So we'll start with chickens. I think there was some fruit trees. Yeah, what are those? These things here. Gather oranges. Let's grab some food. Oranges. Oranges, bananas, chickens, alpacas. This is a interesting bamboo and pine. In interesting biome we're in. <laughs> Now, what are those? Those are stone knives. These would be bamboo seeds. I guess we could plant more bamboo. We could chop down a tree. Gather bamboo seeds, gather bamboo. Chop. Chop down a tree for us. Did we finish building most of the beds? Almost. So everyone can sleep inside now. So I can dismantle. Oh, is there? Oh, there's like the lighting eye adjustment. You see outside looks like pure white. And then, ah, oh, eyes adjust. So we can dismantle these beds now. Let's remove these beds. Everyone's going to sleep inside the building. Okay. I don't know if we get resources back. Uh oh. Demo time limit reached. The demo time limit of two in game days has been reached in this world. Oh, what a tease! What a tease! <laughs> okay. Well played, Sapiens. Well played. Because I want to continue. I wanted to continue. That's how you know they've got something going there. I'm I'm disappointed that it ended. <gasps> oh. uh, 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 uh. Sapiens. That was way more interesting than I thought it was going to be. Like, I had a little dabble like 15 minutes before I, I streamed this like, and showed you this, what we did today. But um, I, the, the main thing I, I had from the first 15 minutes was this game looks nicer than the screenshots imply, right? Um, but as we played for... That was basically just over an hour. Like, an hour of gameplay the first two days for this demo. And it's like... You just keep noticing little details. The fact that fruits are visually represented on the trees, um, that investigating everything does have its own little activity to the point where it's like, I want to investigate the chicken. And you're like, what are they going to do? Are they going to hit it with a rock? And they did, but they threw a rock at it. So it's like different. It's not like investigating the ground. You know, so as they keep investigating these things, like we investigated hay and they actually like put two sticks there and they're like, put the hay there, thatching, you know? So it's like every time you investigate something and your sapiens are discovering something, you are also discovering something. Like, what are they going to do to investigate this thing? And that's such a nice little detail. And I can see this going so far. Like, the building constructions are pieces. So we can build... I'm sure there are staircases at some point and ladders. So you could build like multi-tiered structures. You can essentially build like a, a city. You could do that. Um, like we were just touching onto clay. So we would be getting bricks. We could do mud bricks. I think we could craft just now. Um, you can terraform the landscape. You can fill. You can dig the land and fill the land. So you can actually terraform things. I assume you could might actually be able to like at some point, like, build land bridges over water or fill up little ponds and lakes if you don't want them. Or maybe create ponds and lakes. Who knows? I don't know. So there's, there's, there's such an amazing amount of detail here. 
And the screenshots do not do it justice. They, it doesn't. The screenshots do not do this game justice. You look at the screenshots, it's like, oh, this is some low poly indie thing again, right? Uh, but this, it's low, like the graphics are like that so that it can actually load everything. The fact that the entire planet is actually generated. And I don't know how, like, we saw in one of the menus there were roots, so I assume there are other tribes and we could trade with them at some point. I don't know what travel is going to be like. Um, maybe we could set up multiple villages because there's a world map, so obviously that's going to be for something. And built-in mod support. There's a lot going for Sapiens. I'm actually really impressed. I, I was not expecting it to be that compelling. <laughs> I thought it was going to be another, oh, another survival colony management thing. But it, it's it's taking a lot of... I think it, it is slightly inspired by The Sims, right? Because once I was zoomed in, I heard them talking to each other. And it's like, this, this is getting very Sims vibes now. <laughs> and I think that actually added a lot of character to to not so much the individuals we're playing with, but our tribe sort of felt like a character at that point. Like the, the collective tribe was like a character. I was like, oh, this is our character, right? And that's what it sort of felt like there. And having those little Sims vibes really did put in a lot of uh, personality into things. And so much stuff, you know, I, I like unnecessary detail. And I think this game really leans hard onto the unnecessary detail. And people in chat right now are saying the music is really good as well. The music is pretty nice. I actually want more music. Maybe as an option through the game. But yeah, anyway, that's going to be it for now. For Sapiens, I hope you enjoyed this look at the game. It's been our little encounter, and I think this is going to be worth checking out once it gets into early access and then see where this game goes as it continues to develop, because this, this base is very solid. It's very solid. Um, the It says it's going into early access in a couple weeks from the point of me doing this. Um, so it should be available soon, if you're looking for it. Anyway, that's all for now. If you're watching on YouTube, there'll be buttons on the screen right now for you to see more stuff on this channel. Otherwise, thank you for joining, and I'll see you in the next video.